There's a certain question that no one's really asking, but it's a topic that we collectively have had several different times. Maybe not a topic, but it's been mentioned, right? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about what's gonna happen now. What's gonna happen next? After this arc is done, okay, we can obviously assume that, yeah, we're gonna go right into this new movie, Super Super Superhero, okay? But are we gonna be at the end of the Z after that? Are we going to be going on a grand tour? Okay. These are some of the things that we're wondering. But what we really should be asking is, where the fuck is Frieza? Right? Where is Frieza? I can tell you where Frieza is. That's how we're going to start this off, boys. Okay. Frieza is getting his brother. Okay. There's no secret about that. None. Nostalgia worked with Broly. Made a bunch of green. My man came out full power green. Toei is probably shitting in dough, son. They don't actually, they don't, they don't even have toilet paper. Did you know that? <laughs> they don't, they don't use like regular toilet paper. They literally have like whatever the highest yen. Quarters. No. Okay, definitely not quarters. That's painful. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking crazy that you even said that. <laughs> but, but I'm talking the highest bill that they have over there in yen. And yo, you remember, their fucking money is huge. Like the paper, the bills, this shit is fucking, their, their, their bills are way bigger than, than the dollar, right? Whatever that shit is, that's what they use to wipe their ass. Because they made so much fucking money and they're still making money, right? Nostalgia sells. So what's the next, the, what's the next best thing after sell? Oh, you like, because we already know that's happening, right? Cooler. So. Now that we've seen Goku and Vegeta literally fight in such perfect unison that we've ever seen them fight off rip. Keyword off rip. Because you know, some you know, you know how it is. Okay, y'all know how it is. In every single shit beforehand. They they there's a there's a, there's a threat, a foe, someone they gotta fight. And they're always like, oh me first! Right? And usually what happens is Goku. It always ends up being Goku first. No matter what. And it always ends up being Goku finishing it. No matter what. Okay? The difference. Chapter 84 was a very important chapter. And the more I kept listening back to our episode last week. Because obviously, like, I cut these up and everything, right? And I, I kept hearing Kai say how important this chapter was. Not just for itself, but for the entirety of the fucking Dragon Ball franchise. I was like, you know... He's right. This shit, really, this chapter really was a monumental chapter in a sense where it's like, this is like a staking point. Like from here on out, this is OD because this is, this is something that like is, is huge, huge growth overall for two of these important characters, right? Cause we've seen how they re they, they interact time and time again. And now they have an enemy and they're just like, all right, it's time. And they just, they just go. And, and it's like, they don't even have to talk. They don't even have to be like, oh, duck over here, over there. Nah, straight silence, mute button, no volume, no headphones, no microphone, no equipment. They're out here just doing the shit. And you, it's like, it's funny because Goku's the one with the calm mind. He's the one with the... With the, his whole shit is all about moving freely without thinking to turn the brain off. Vegeta is on the same shit, but he's just raw destructive power. But the fact that they are so yin and yang now, now that they have fully accepted themselves as to whatever path they're going down and they've tied that to their pride for the Saiyans, I think that's in, that's, that is one of the most biggest single things that could possibly happen and i will side tangent for a second here and i'm gonna bring this shit up to you guys right now and i'll let y'all chime in if you want before i like you know get to the the main sauce here is this is almost low-key someone in the comments brought this up somewhat a little bit reminiscent to gohan back during cell funny how things tie in now check this out. The re so here it is, right? At first, 
you would probably think like how does this relate the way it relates back then it wasn't really about a like it wasn't directly like uh given to us as this was a saiyan pride thing for back then it was more of a gohan we know that you're about this peace life but sometimes words cannot get through to everybody and so he had to look into himself and accept that yes he is on that godly shit as a saiyan you know what i'm saying like he is he is a saiyan whether he wants to take the approach differently and and when when the time comes he needs to understand you know how to go forward and handle business that's how it kind of relates back to this it's it's like borderline this right it's a bit of a stretch but i see it that's what i'm saying it's it's a stretch it's not exactly the same thing but, but it's it. it lines up a little bit you know what i'm saying it's just like you know you're on the highway and this motherfucker is trying to veer off but y'all still going the same direction you know what i'm saying is what it is so back to this shit now the fact that they are we've established that they are literally they've never worked so well together and this is not even them fused yet and, and obviously we're not the only ones that think this everybody is on some gogeta shit like everybody bro bro they really missed their chance for ultra instinct vigigo <laughs> vigigo yeah what the fuck vigigo i don't even like that name fuck that shit <laughs> But yeah, yeah man, they, they're, they're, they're not even fused. fused. They're not even fused, but they're acting fused. And that's the crazy part, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing, man, that I have to, I have to start this, this combo <clears throat> is how, like, who better than to really like test their, 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 their connectivity than to put them up against another pairing like that and this would be so unique because we've never seen this happen before this is some can probably argue oh yeah this is on some super dragon ball hero shit ah, no absolutely not because cooler obviously he's uh, you know everybody gets brought back in super dragon ball heroes literally it's a it's a fucking mario party over there okay there, <laughs> there's no rules shit just happens things happen like like i i don't even know who it was i saw someone that was talking about fucking turles i'm like why the fuck is this guy whatever you know what i'm saying right but now 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 we have we have we've had leverage as to even why we even think cooler is gonna be coming back it's it all is gold. past his time. Yeah, it, it's time. Now, especially, it's time. Right? Yeah. The, the last chapter, like, solidified it. Like, now he has to come. No right. questions. No questions. He has but, to. like, yeah, like. Go ahead, Brandon. Because, <laughs> like, uh, I mean, this would be dope. But how strong is Frieza going to be at this point? Because they can make, they can make Cooler as strong as they want because we've never seen him. Platinum. As to Frieza, though, Platinum may solve things, but how strong is Platinum from what we are seeing right now? Look, it, it don't even matter because he, here's what does matter. They can make the villain as strong as they want out of fucking nowhere. And that's right. all that they've done with Super. And look at every single villain. That's ex or and like Jiren's not even a villain in that in every that foe, regard. You know? Every He's foe. Just, every foe. That's a better word here. Every foe. Look at every major foe. That's exactly what they've done in Super. And they'll do it again. Frieza, Frieza trained for what was it? Four months? That's Four it. Four months. 120 Four months. days. Easy money. Easy. Uh, imagine imagine if Frieza got magically, like this is this is some bullshit. I'm just throwing it out there. But imagine if Frieza got his hands on the time chamber. <laughs> Yeah, you know but, what I mean? I like, mean, I know it's, even, that's like, a head-ass <laughs> statement, but I'm just saying, like, if that man had access to, to time, oh. like, forget it. 
So but throwing even, Cooler even, in the yeah. mix, like Goku and Vegeta being in perfect unison, like like they dude, they planted the seeds. In the last movie, Frieza literally saw Fusion, pointed it out, and said, "What the fuck's going on here?" And they were like, "Oh, you don't know nothing about this." My man, man. was fucking taking notes, son. Right. Yeah. So I mean, they could be. Right. I mean, okay. Come so on. They come on. <laughs> right. Come yeah, on. Fight it. Go ahead. Get fight it, it out. Go ahead. Get yeah. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. Like, all right. So, planers. They can make Cooler as strong as they want. They can kind of make Frieza as strong as they want with Platinum if they actually give it to Frieza. But it, there, I feel like like Frieza will have a cap, obviously. But Cooler, we, we <laughs> Cooler. They can make Nance as strong as they want. But the end all be all here, yeah. It could be them fusing somehow, some way. Right, like Frieza and Cooler, and that's the shit and that then, no one's ready for. None. And then, and then, that'd be so if weird. If that, if that happens, if that happens, this is what I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna just say, <laughs> I think Goku and Vegeta will fuse, and we'll we will see the Ultra Ego together. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> that should be fire. Listen, nah, that, but if that, that if that happens, there's Frieza not and this. Cooler fusing though. That. That'd be so weird. Kuza. That'd be so weird. You know, but like, what would they look like? Dude, listen. Don't I listen. Just, you're, you're, dude, you're, you're, you're worrying about the trivial shit. What are they going to look like? <laughs> what what kind of cologne are they going to fucking wear? Okay, come on. We gotta, let's ask the real questions. Okay. How strong are they oh, going to yeah. be? That's that's yeah. that's a that's a first great I, point to start off with right there. I have I have a better point to go off of that. Let's not only think about how strong they're going to be, but let's think about um you know how Dragon Ball Super's been getting a little bit more creative with powers, not just key blasts and shit. I mean, Gas is out here really like conjuring weapons and shit out of thin air. Let's not forget that Frieza is a psychic motherfucker. What <laughs> mental abilities are they gonna give that fusion? Oh, see, see, that's what now, I'm we saying. Also, we, we, we also have to, to to come up with other solutions here as well because <laughs> <laughs> because because as far as their fusion, right? How, will they have a time limit or is it? maybe permanent or Man. what's going on here it probably won't be permanent because that would be weird but right right like what's the whole ordeal with that okay you know so I, mean? I don't all right so just to answer some of those things right off the bat whenever so if frieza and cooler do fusion one i don't think it's gonna be fucking permanent okay let's just let's just nick nix that shit okay okay guy go, go ahead they can use the patara Pause. All right, listen. Well, listen, listen. You see, but you see, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but like at the same time, right? You see, I don't even think Frieza actually knows the actual fusion technique. So no. they're if if they're gonna if like Frieza has this idea of fusing with Cooler, if like if Cooler is actually gonna be in this shit, um, then they're gonna like they're gonna have to find another way how to like of fusing, like I don't think they would invent a new way of actually fusing. But we never fucking know. I mean, yo, he's, I don't he, know. That's not, he, you know what? He said something that's very true. Because what happens in Dragon Ball all the time? One of our favorite fucking words, actuallys. They are going to actually us. They could. They could actually us at any given point. Yep. Like, right when we think, this is the thing with Dragon Ball. Right when you think you understand everything, they <laughs> always hit you with an actually. They always hit you with a. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to hit you with that shit. And they're going to give us something brand new. New things to the table. New, new, new wondrous ways to go about all of these things. And for all, yo, for all we know, bro, they can be on some, like, Namekian shit. Low-key. That, that, find okay. a way how to fuse in that way. All right, hold Kinda on. Kind of like See? on some Piccolo, you know, and whoever the fuck. Nail the and... Nail. That, <laughs> and all that, the other Namekians. That is a perfect segue to what I was about to bring up, which is, like... Why don't you think that it's possible for them to invent another way to fuse? Because we have the Patara, we have the we have the Metamorph Infusion Dance, we have the Namekian fusing shit, we had Cell absorbing androids, we had Majin Buu absorbing people. There's all types of fusions here. They can easily just pull another one out of their ass. That's true. I don't even really like 
as far as like the whole cell shit and the androids, I don't. I wouldn't really necessarily say that that's a fusion. I would just say like nigga was just absorbing for power, and he yeah. would get a transformation out of it, essentially. Yeah, that, that, from I absorbing mean, that, yeah. them specifically, but you know, but I mean the other fusions are pretty valid. I would say. But, but like, when you think yeah. about that being a possibility, like absorption or whatever, like. Frieza and Cooler do hate each other, so if they were going to join bodies, I do think it would be under some sly shit. Well, hold if on. It was wait, 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 but like, but like, <laughs> but like, but like, what, what's the narrative between? That's is that the truth. Yes. See. Uh. That's why we're. This is <laughs> a lot this, of butts. This is how you know, even though we're not on the same page all the time, we came from the same womb. All right, because. <laughs> He said something that I was just about to get into. We don't know the, the Toriyama story exactly. of between the brothers, okay? Right. Just just like how Broly was rewritten, yo, we don't I was know. Get to dude, that. Cooler, dude, for all we know, Cooler could literally be one of the most OD, like badass characters. Like, obviously he's gonna take some some things from the original, right? That's just a given. But, like, it's, yo, the fact, like, like ima oh, yo, imagine if Cooler was, like, a little arrogant motherfucker. Just, like, similar to Frieza, except, like, it was almost as if, like, like, like when we see that interaction when Frieza actually pulls up to go, you know, to approach Cooler, Cooler, literally the first thing he goes is, like, I was waiting for this, eventually. Like, awesome, cr like, oh, like, dude, I, that's you, what I'm you, looking forward believe, to. Do you believe that? Um, they'll give um, cooler like metal cooler as well as a transformation. There's no point for metal cooler. No, there's, there's no, no point. point. The only mm -hmm. reason why they had meta cooler, metal meta, is is because he it, it, it they were pretty I much mean, it was the movie. they well it was a movie, but they were pretty much trying to almost like replicate duplicate what happened with Mecha Frieza. You know, like right, right, man's right, right. got you know bodied and then rebuilt. And, you know, they pretty much just took that same concept and, and guess what? Cooler was popular enough. He's the only other motherfucker to have more than one movie. And that's why he's definitely coming back. That's another reason. You know, Broly had three before he came back. You know, we don't count the last one, but it happened, right? The second Cooler move, like, like, I feel like on a business standpoint, if you're going to have theatrical releases and feature the same characters that like, you know we already saw them they already got defeated that means something and that happened back then so as far as coolers transformations how far are we taking it well okay, here, here, i don't the, i don't the, because i don't believe that we're just gonna get a base cooler no 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 we might though we really might because they brought Frieza back exactly like that for no reason and in the you know non-canon cooler he started in his third form and then his badass one with his mask and his spikes that's oh. his fourth form yeah, so they yeah, could yeah. easily drop some shit on us with base because he, he's just chilling like, but even with that fourth form I feel like we're gonna need something more oh we absolutely because yes. that's just slow you we think that's all will. we're gonna get that's not all we're gonna get come on that's what I'm saying mm -hmm. this is why I'm saying what I'm saying Come as on. Far as what are we gonna get? Dude, okay, we're gonna get platinum, okay? That's what the fuck we're gonna get. We're gonna get platinum, and we might get something. We might get something beyond platinum. I don't know. What if, what if, yo, what if Cooler shows Frieza platinum, essentially? Yeah, yeah, okay. That see now we're now we can now we can continue this conversation. Okay, Dude, we're because... gonna get ice embedded cooler. You gonna have like <laughs> diamonds and shit dripping. And then they're gonna be on the same power level in future. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> now hold on, hold on. All right, so let, let's backtrack a little bit. Be, let's back, let, 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 let me backtrack a little bit, okay? Because let's think about this, okay? As soon as Frieza left, Frieza had a change of attitude. It was subtle, but it was a noticeable change in tone and how they decided to proceed with themselves, yep. okay? Frieza pre he basically made it very clear that the next time this dude pulled up, they were going to have to be the ones that had to fucking look out, okay? Because let's think about this. Let's go back. Frieza has been the ruler of everybody for the longest time. Then gets fucked up by the monkeys, right? The fucking monkeys killed this dude. 
brought back and got killed again. And then they he fought alongside them. And then he got Hulk embarrassed. Like a my man was getting tossed. He had no shot, even in golden form. Broly, first of all, I'm pretty sure Broly wasn't even fucking conscious at that point. It was it was child's play for Broly. And that was Broly's debut. Broly did what none of them could do on his on the first up uh interaction. Think about yeah, Vegeta and Goku when they first got interacted with Frieza. Struggled. They all struggled. Krillin popped. All right, literally. And and here we have Broly pulls up, m literally manhandles Frieza. Frieza is not having this no more. After all yeah, these Frieza. years, he's not having this shit no more. So he's leaving. He already left. We've had how many arcs since then, and now. By the time we and think about when we actually see him again, and 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 cooler. I feel like it's not even just about him going to reconcile or to just reconnect with his brother. I think that with that, Frieza in the lab, he's in the gym, he's in the time chamber, he's in, he's doing something. He's not just, he's not just there because listen, look, everybody. And when I say everybody, I'm pretty much just talking about Goku and Vegeta. Okay. But they have gone through what? a lot of character development changes they have been on the up and up why are we only stopping with these characters gohan is even getting his up and up piccolo is getting his up and up we're gonna stop there no frieza's popular they brought his ass back for a reason and they're gonna bring him back again once again and this time He's not going to be on his... Like, he's still going to be triumphant and fucking cocky, I'm sure. But he's not going to... He's not He's not going to look at the same as the same. He's going to have some sort of acknowledgement towards them. And because of that acknowledgement, that's going to be the fuel to fire his own shit. Because we already got a taste. We already got a little taste. We got a little fucking taste, all right? Oh, that was not a taste. That was straight... Bro, they were sauce and T.O.P.? Yo, but no, I, I wasn't even talking about that. Like, yeah, that too. But like, yo, four months, four months of training, my man got golden. Think about how many years have passed he already. Literally, he literally got golden and ran over there. Yeah. But then he got shit on. Right. <laughs> By blue form. Dude, they could <laughs> have, they can have more forms. Like, we, like, look, 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 look how many fucking forms the Saiyans get. They don't even... I feel like they lo they lose count after a while. You know? And then they get the stacks on top of that shit. So it's like... Oh, so that we can't apply that shit to a, a fucking... A freezer race? Where, you know, like... Like, think... Like, okay. If we have to understand the Saiyans as beings that are, like, battle... Hungry, low-key. Or not even low-key, but, like, they are a... a, a they're like a, a warrior race is what they, uh, they're referred to as. And they're the, what, uh, what's unique to them is that they're all about their Saiyan pride and, you know, fighting to the death. And with that, they get stronger with every fight. So if that's the case, and Frieza has already been hella strong, and we've already seen that with proper training and when he actually fucking gives a half a shit, look how strong he can get. Bro, they, yo, they, I'm telling you, they come back. And he's coming back with cooler. They're gonna give these dudes a problem. Wait, Simple. he's gonna. I think. I feel like since he saw Broly and got manhandled essentially as well as seeing the fusion of what uh, Gogeta, yeah, or whatever. Hold on. Fucking, he, he's gonna have to come back stronger than that. Yeah. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on, he's not coming back stronger equal to Broly or whatever. No, no, maybe. he no. It's gonna be. It's gonna be he's, a lot. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to step it up, bro. See, see the whole, <clears throat> the whole Broly movie, like Frieza's involvement in the Broly movie. I really want to take a pause on that because that is, that that is a, of huge importance to this whole like topic. But that's just the icing on the cake because Frieza came back into Super early on. He got his own movie. What are we talking about? You know, like theatrical appearances. There you fucking go. Another one. So Frieza came back with that. They ran through his forms. They gave him new shit. They killed him off. They literally brought him back to life 
to kill him off in the same movie. And then what happened? They brought him again in the T.O.P. And at the end of that shit, after all that, seeing all those universes get erased, which, by the way, there were so many scenes planted that this man is trying to overtake the god hierarchy, that he's trying to overthrow Zenosama. This man held a destruction and, like, literally threw it at Goku instead. Like, we see that Frieza has destructive powers, too. Or at least he can handle them, right? So there's there's all these seeds being planted for this character. And like, you look at the manga, he's being name dropped. You look at the Broly movie, of course, all that shit. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs> <laughs>